Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here please consider subscribing. Be sure to hit that notification bell and that like button that way you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. With that being said let's get started with today's review. Alright guys, we're here at uh, Disney Store checking out the Ray and the Last Dragon stuff. We do have some of these uh, little figurine sets that uh, Disney likes to put out. We used to have some like shirts, just some children's toys, stuff like that. Some more shirts. Some of the dolls and props, like a sword, Ray's sword, Barbie doll, Tuk Tuk more shirts, more dolls, and that's what I came here for, so I'll be picking one of those up. The Sisu Dragon. But yeah, that's, they don't really have much here for Ray and the Last Dragon, just a couple of plushies, shirts, and a couple of dolls. That's unfortunate, but I will be picking up a Sisu. You're coming home with me, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so we finally got home from the store. We were just at Disney Store, and we picked up this awesome Raya and the Last Dragon, Dragon Sisu plush. And she just barely fits in the frame, but I guess that's good because we can just see all of its details close up. You know, and there's always a positive there. We can do see on this tag here, it says from the movie Disney, Raya or Raya and the Last Dragon, Dragon Sisu. You can see some nice, I don't know, like weird looking trees, like a temple there and a big huge shadow of what looks like Sisu, or Sisu as it's pronounced. Um, uh, yeah, I found out that it is pronounced Sisu and not Sisu. But you can see kind of a smoky shadow of her there. I don't know if she's actually going to be that big in the movie. She almost seems to be kaiju sized here. But yeah, in the back of it just says Disney Store and all that kind of legal stuff that they gotta say. But I'm gonna get this tag off of her. Don't go away. There's a, there's more review to be had. All right, so bringing Sisu in here. Now I'm gonna take advantage of this because she doesn't really fit in frame. She's a huge plushie, just in her long, 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 incredibly long, long body here. See, she has these kind of feathers or fins on the end of her tail. But yeah, because it's such a big plushie, we can really take this time to really just take a look at all of her features in very good detail. She does have this kind of side profile, which I actually like, it's very wolfish. And I like the kind of snout that she has, very thin, petite, cutesy, as she is a female dragon. You would expect kind of some sleek, uh, slender design. Um, she does have these long eyelashes with these beautiful purple eyes, some very feminine eyebrows, I may add. Um, and she just has this casual kind of happy smile. And there is her horn, which I think is actually done really nice, nicely to great effect here. Instead of actually, um, instead of actually just kind of um, creating separate pieces of stitch work for her, for all of the symbols in her horn, what they've done instead is just kind of printed the details, the symbols, and everything on her horn. And I think she, that's great. I mean, most of the time I don't agree with the kind of the kind of printing technique for stuffed animals, but here, I mean, it works to advantage. If you don't know what printing is, don't worry, it's not going to wash off if you put this girl through the washing machine. It's done in a special way by a machine that's especially designed to print these kind of details onto stuff like this. So you can wash it so many times, you can wash it indefinitely, and it's not going to make this wash off. These symbols will always be here because it's specially designed to, to be like that. And looking down at her mane here, you can see, here's her nice big mane. It's very fluffy, very furry. Uh, you can have it all scuffed up if you wanted, have it like all crazy like that, or you can just have it in like how I had it, just in a nice sleek kind of nice design here. Uh, if you're looking here, there is no detail here, just at the base of the neck because, I mean, obviously at the fur is gonna be covering it, so, you know, there's that. Uh, moving on to her feet, very fox-like, I may add. Very fox-like feet. She does have felt for the, uh, the talons, 
which uh, doesn't really strike me that well. I don't really appreciate, you know, um, stuff like this just being done and felt, but at the end of the day, I'm just so used to it now. But yeah, she does have these very fox-like, very, very fennec sort of looking feet, legs. She's also covered in more printing, which basically shows her bioluminescent scales. And that is bioluminescence because in the most recent trailer that was released for the movie, it shows her kind of glowing. So I'm assuming that this, these are bioluminescent. Um, she does have these nice, these nice um, kind of fins on her back which we saw in the Funko Pop when we took a look at it. And again, more just awesome kind of details in the bioluminescent. Some more fox-like legs, very fanic, like I said before. But yeah, if you're wondering, these are not made of felt. These are actually just made of a soft, almost paper-like material. Um, but yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, but again, she does have the very fanic fox-like legs. There's a long tail, which is very soft and squishy. Um, and then for her, uh, for her, like, fins on the end of her tail, just kind of get that all fanned out for you. For all of these fins here, again, it's just done in the same sort of paper. If you look closely at it, you can see that there's some details just kind of carved in there, like some swirls and just kind of some lines. The thing that, that doesn't strike me is at the bottom of this. You can clearly see, in order to get that shape, you can see that they just kind of put some some more of that kind of felt like material on the bottom to kind of frame out the uh, the kind of flippers or the uh, the kind of spikes to make it give it that degradation of tone. It just looks really ugly. I kind of think they could have done it in a way better way than that they did. But yeah. With that being said, I think this is definitely a very awesome and solid plushie. Definitely designed to make a little girl and little boy happy and with its big size It makes this stuffed animal very nice and easy to cuddle with anyway I hope you guys enjoyed do take care have a great night, and I'll see you guys in the next video